Over the next seven days, I'm gonna be testing our Starlink internet. Let's see what speeds we get. All right, so it's 4 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon, ready for our first Starlink speed test. I'm gonna screen record here on my end. All right, pretty good start. Over 100 megabits per second already. And upload is looking at about 10. And we're not too far from the router, but we'll try again tomorrow and see what we get. All right, it's 7 a.m. on Monday morning. Open the Starlink app. Wi-Fi signal isn't super strong out here in the backyard. Hmm. Okay, something's going wrong. I don't think the Wi-Fi is strong enough out here. It actually just dropped out entirely before. So let's move closer to the router. All right, take two. We're very close to the router now. All right, there we go. That's the sort of numbers we want to see. 140 download. Upload does seem to be around 10 most of the time. Doesn't often go too much higher or too much lower, but this morning, 6.4 upload, 26 latency. All right, day three. It is Tuesday at 8 p.m., so peak hours. Everyone's watching Netflix at home. Let's see what speed we bring in using my iMac this time. We are pulling about 140, oh, yeah, 140 download. And again, uploads hovering around 10. All right, see you tomorrow. All right, it's Wednesday afternoon at 5.30 p.m. We've got a brand new Starlink here, thanks to SpaceX for sending it to me. We're gonna unbox this, set it up straight away, and see what speeds we get. All right, so we're all set up. The good thing is it only takes a matter of minutes before you're up and running, which is really cool. You basically just plug in these components and then the uh, little dish here will move around a bit until it finds the best connection. So let's jump in, join this other Starlink Wi-Fi network and run a speed test. I'll use the speed test app this time. All right, so straight off the bat, we're getting over 70 download, which is really great. And that will just keep getting faster the more confident this connection gets. And you can see the upload is now rising too. So yeah, 85 download and eight upload, not bad. Day five, here we are, out in the bush. We've got the Tesla and the new Starlink set up. Let's jump in the car this time and run a speed test and see what sort of results we get. All right, I've joined up to the Starlink Wi-Fi. Let's go into the browser and do our speed test. Very interested to see what sort of result we get. Oh wow, lower, a lot lower than usual. It's building. All right, 12 download. Upload's going strong. Oh wow, download 12 and upload 12, there you go. So certainly a bit slower than what we've been getting the past few days. I wonder if maybe because there are some trees around, it's causing a drop in the speed. But yeah, let's go again tomorrow and see what we get. All right, day six, we're on the couch. We're gonna do the test on the Apple TV today and it is currently 1 p.m., let's go. Unreal. This is why Netflix loads so quickly. So this will be the fastest test we've done over the seven days, clocking over 200. And upload is 11.8. All right, so 202 download. That's the best speed we've got over the last six days. We've got the final day tomorrow. Let's see if we can beat it. So day seven, we're right next to the router. It's wet and rainy outside. So we'll see if we can beat yesterday's result of 200 download. Let's open the newly redesigned Starlink app. Scroll down to speed test. Oh wow. Oh my God, are we gonna beat it? I think we're gonna beat it. We're going for a record in the rain on the final day. Download of 207. Uploads a little bit weak though. Latency sitting at 34. So there you have it, 207 to finish the seven days of Starlink speed testing. Hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you want more Starlink content in the future and I'll catch you soon in another video. Thanks for watching.